The social network that you use can become a super valuable resource if you want to learn or stay up to date on a certain topic. You only need to follow the right people. Obviously, it takes time to find the best content creators for the niche you're interested in, but don't worry if you're passionate about the data in the AI world. I've done all of that research for you, so just stay with me for a few minutes. Ciao guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't met before, I'm Laura and I'm here to make your journey in data analytics space as smooth as possible. Every single day, I scroll through different social networks and I get so much valuable content content around data for free and you might ask yourself so what? Well, I decided to combine all the best, let's call them data influencers in one video so that you can also follow and learn from them. Also, I know how tough it is to constantly create valuable content. And so this is my way to support other creators out there. I divided this list of people by platform because I know that maybe some of us prefer using LinkedIn over Instagram, or maybe you're just interested in material on YouTube, or maybe you just use TikTok, I don't know. And little side note, I'm sure I will pronounce some of the names in the wrong way but I will try my best also let me know in the comments below if you have anyone else that you would add to this list because I'm sure I missed some other amazing data creators and now grab your pen and paper because we are about to drop some names in this video I will cover content creators that specifically are on LinkedIn but make sure to check my channel for other similar videos for content creators on YouTube Instagram and TikTok so let's cover now the best data influencers on LinkedIn number one in the list is Andrew NG many of of you might know him he's a co-founder and chairman of Coursera through his profile he shares provoking insights and various resources that will empower one's journey in the field of data science he shares details about the latest trends in AI machine learning and data science field then we have Alex Wang Alex is a highly influential figure in data science field known for her expertise in cutting-edge AI technologies data analytics and practical applications of data science Alex cheat sheets are particularly popular and serve as handy references for for brushing up on data science concepts. Then we have Cassie Kozirkov. She's the chief decision scientist at Google. Cassie's expertise lies in extracting data-driven insights and offering practical advice on decision-making, AI, and data science. Also, she shares data science and machine learning case studies, which are quite engaging. Next one is Bernard Marr. Bernard is an international best-selling author. He's a data advisor who often shares articles related to AI and data science and their impact on daily life. And you can also subscribe to his newsletters for the latest updates. Then we have DJ Patil. He was the first US chief data scientist appointed by Barack Obama, writer of one of the most cited articles in business, which is Data Scientist, the sexiest job of the 21st century. Through his profile, he often shares his personal experience and the latest projects he's working on, also insights about evolution in the data science field and how we should adapt to it. Then we have Gregory Shapiro. He's the founder of KDD and KD Nuggets. He shares details related to career paths, projects, to undertake to build a strong portfolio and also how one can start his or her startup in a data science field. Then we have Danny Ma. He's principal AI engineer at Lumos. He primarily focuses on explaining SQL concepts using innovative techniques and his eight-week SQL challenge is quite popular as well. Next up is Wannis Rosiers. He often shares insights related to various data-related technologies like data mesh and data contracts. Also shares his experience with data-driven decision-making and how being an athlete helps him in his business. Then we have Benjamin Rogojan. His posts related to data science concepts are worth catching your attention because he shares most of his stuff specifically focusing on data engineers. He's doing a great job um, sharing data science concepts and he specifically focuses on data engineers. So if you're looking to upskill in data engineering, you should consider following him. Then we have Aishwarya Srinisvan. She's a data scientist at Google Cloud AI and she actively organizes events and conferences to inspire budding data scientists. She also helps data aspirants through one one course, webinars, or through courses. Then we have Kunal Naik. Kunal has mentored around 1,000 students through his courses. He shares tips to grasp data science concepts. He also shares an analogy between day-to-day -day life experiences and data science to get more clarity on the topics. And I have to say, his analogies are quite engaging and worth your time. Then we have Megan Yeo. Megan works as a data scientist at a startup company. She often shares her experience of working as a data scientist at an early startup. Also gives tips to deliver your data analysis effectively to 
the non-technical stakeholders. Then we have Ravit Jain. As the founder and the host of the very popular podcast The Ravit Shows, he's a prominent figure in the data science field. His profile serves as a hub for comprehensive learning resources on various concepts within the realm of data science. Now we have Avery Smith. Avery helps people to land their first data science job within 90 days. Through his profile, he shares tips to build a strong portfolio and suggests projects idea that one should undertake. And he also runs the Data Career Podcast, where he discusses topics related to the latest trends and how to start a career as a data analyst. Now we have Taliana Liu. She works as a data scientist and runs a podcast show called The Data Scientist Show. She shares SQL tips and also helps people to get promoted in the data science domain. Then we have Ian K. With a passion for helping aspiring data analysts, he shares tips to start a data analytics career. His expertise lying in breaking down the essential skills required to enter the field of data analytics and also tells us how he gained proficiency in that particular skill. Then we have Andrew C. Matson. He helps people with their interview preparation, also shares a list of questions asked in the interview and how to handle them. Also being a professor of data science, he shares simple tips to gain skills that are relevant to the industry. Then we have David Langer. With his vast experience in the industry, David helps people to do data visualization using Python, also explain a few machine learning algorithms to work out which. He also explains topics about algorithms to handle certain classification and prediction models required in the data science field. Then we have Carla. Carla is a data scientist with nearly 12 years of experience. Through her profile, she shares articles which are quite helpful. Also, she shares her insights about the impact of AI on the data science job market. Then we have Kuyen Chuan. If you want to excel in Python, then you must visit Kuyen's profile. She shares uh, different concepts of Python libraries and alternatives in hard coding through interactive Python code visuals. And being ML Ops engineer, she shares insights regarding that as well. Then we have Annie Nelson. Annie is a data analyst who provides free resources to aspiring data analysts. She shares tips to help one select the right job type that convey the results and sometimes she even conducts live sessions with other data professionals and has a productive discussion with them. Then we have Vincent Granville. Vincent is the CEO of ML Techniques and his content is more focused on computer vision and NLP. And obviously as a data scientist enthusiast having basic knowledge of such deep learning concepts is very useful. Then we have Gilbert. Deriving insights from raw data using tools and techniques is good but communicating those derived insights to your clients is much more important. Important. For this, you need to be an effective communicator, and here Gilbert comes to your help. He provides you with crisp tips to help you communicate in a much better way. Then we have Eric Weber. Eric talks mainly about how data assets like dashboards can become data products. He also is a senior director at Stitch Fix. He shares SQL tips and tries to explain the importance of data literacy. Then we have George Firikan. George is the founder of Lights on Data Show, where he discusses data-related stuff with other budding professionals. He also focuses on data governance and shares tips on how its program should be run. Through his show, he also discusses the wide applications of data science in various domains. Then we have Kevin Tran. Kevin worked as a senior data science engineer. He tries to put forth his opinion on the latest happening in the AI and data science field in a much more fun way. With the world around us hyping about AI and potentially many people losing jobs, Kevin explains to us the data science relevance in the long run as well. Then we have Jose Portilla. Jose often conducts courses and and bootcamps to improve one's data science skills. He also shares Python tips for coding preparation for an interview, and his bootcamps are helping a lot of people to upskill in the data field. Then we have Nick Singh. He's the founder of datalemur.com, which is an amazing platform to practice SQL. Through his profile, he also shares various tips and tricks to make SQL simple for everybody to understand. He's also the author of the book Ace the Data Science Interview, so if you want to ace your interview, do consider checking him out. Then we have Andrew Jones. Andrew helps people to learn data science from scratch through his online courses, even share materials related to learning SQL, Python, and even basic statistic concepts. Then we have Adam Sroka. He talks about the tools that help him during his data scientist journey. He also shares approaches and techniques that data leaders should follow while leading a team. He put forward his opinion on data scientists and data engineering, giving us reality checks on both jobs profiles. And there you have it, guys. This is your guide to the top data influences out there. These accounts 
accounts are sure to provide you with a steady stream of insights, news and entertainment in the world of data analytics and data science. Make sure to check them out and also let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. It took quite a lot of time to put all of this together, so if you think this was valuable to you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I will leave here in the screen some other videos that you might want to check out and well enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.